Escaping North Korea is a journey that is almost always a perilous one. Thousands of miles on buses and motorcycles are sneaking on foot through mountains and valleys amid falling snow or torrential rain, in the desperate quest to evade border police and reach the frontier of a new life. Some pay a broker to traffic them out, some are too poor and bear the burden alone, and some are granted temporary visas to work in China but never return to their native land. So how many North Korea defectors are there, and where do they go since the hostilities of the Korean War ended in 1953? An estimated 300,000 North Koreans have defected from the tightly controlled hermit country. According to statistics from the Human Freedom Initiative at the Bush Institute, there is approximately 225 North Korean refugees that have been directly granted asylum in the United States since the North Korean Human Rights Act of 2004. This was signed into law under President George W. Bush in an effort to promote freedom and human rights to those fleeing the dictatorship. A further 250 North Koreans have arrived since as legal immigrants, after spending time in South Korea and receiving citizenship there. There are believed to be several hundred, although less than 1,000, illegal North Korean immigrants also residing across the United States. Commandos march across the Kim Il-sung Square during a military parade on Saturday, April 15, 2017, in Pyongyang, North Korea to celebrate the 105th birth anniversary of Kim Il-sung, the country's late founder and grandfather of current ruler Kim Jong-un. App Photo Wong Mai Copyright 2017 The Associated Press. All rights reserved. The European Alliance for Human Rights in North Korea surmises that there are at least 1,400 in Europe, with the highest number, some 600 reportedly in southwest London. However, most defectors stay much closer to home. Most defectors head to China, but if they're caught there, they will likely be returned to North Korea, where they are punished harshly. Therefore, many either their s under the radar or make the harrowing trip to South Korea. There, North Korean defectors are welcomed by the government. Vernon Brewer, founder and president of World Help, a Christian humanitarian organization that supports the defectors, told Fox News. South Korea longs for reunification and sees the suffering North Koreans as their neighbors. South Korean law grants those from the North automatic citizenship following a mandatory three-month transition that involves debriefing and education to prepare them for their new s in a much more open society. Official statistics published by the Ministry of Unification have documented just over 30,000 defectors since 1998. That year, at the height of the starvation and famine that claimed over 1 million s in the north, the government registered 302 males and 116 females, a total of 947 North Korean defectors. File This undated file photo distributed by the North Korean government shows North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, center, at an undisclosed location in North Korea. The world is wondering if North Korea or Euro trademark sign S next nuclear test will involve a nuclear missile screaming over Japan after the North said it may test a hydrogen bomb in the Pacific Ocean. Independent journalists were not given access to cover the event depicted in this image distributed by the Korean Central News Agency via Korean News Service. The content of this image is provided and cannot be independently verified. Korean Central News Agency Korea News Service via app, file KCNA via KNS by 2008, the number of males had dropped slightly to 608 while the number of females had jumped dramatically to 2,195, bringing the overall to 2,803 and 78% female. These numbers have declined in subsequent years as a result of stricter border patrols and inspections having been put in place by the Kim Jong-un regime, along with rising broker costs. Last year, South Korea documented 302 male and 1,116 female defectors, 1,418 in total, and 79% female. So far in 2017, the ministry has recorded 593 defectors, 85% of who are female. Overall, just under one quarter of the total defector numbers are minus 8,839 of the total to date are male, and 21,541 are female. File in this September 23, 2014, file photo, North Korean human rights activist Shin dong yuk does remarks during an event on human rights in North Korea at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, in New York. Shin, who fled a North Korean prison camp and became the face of international efforts to hold the country accountable for widespread human rights abuses, has changed important parts of his life story. App photo Jason DeCrow, file The Associated Press China, which also borders North Korea, is host to the majority of defectors.
Although official statistics are hard to come by and many are deported back to their origin if discovered, an estimated 30,000 to 50,000 refugees from the country are believed to have crossed into China illegally, more than 70% of which are female. In this September 2, 2017, photo, a worker stacks crates at the Yanbian Shanghai Industry Trade Co. Limited, which hires some North Korean workers to process seafood in the city of Huncheon in northeastern China's Jilin province. In an effort to boost the local economy, China and North Korea agreed several years ago to allow factories to contract for groups of North Korean workers, establishing an industrial zone with bargain price labor. Ab Photong Han Guan Copyright 2017 The Associated Press. All rights reserved. The rise in female defectors to both South Korea and China, experts have conjectured, is likely because of the notion that it is easier for women to flee undetected and face less scrutiny from authorities than their male counterparts. However, women are routinely subjected to gross human rights violations such as sex trafficking and forced into prostitution for survival, and without proper documentation, have little resources to turn to. Millions of American lives could be at stake as North Korea threatens to attack power grid operation Bible smuggling How Christian texts infiltrate North Korea Defectors from North Korea describe concentration camp daily life What does Bush think about Trump's handling of North Korea Defectors also flee using obscure routes to other Asian countries in the region, including Mongolia, the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, Japan and Laos, but these are often used as transit points before moving to a third country such as South Korea. But in comparison to those fleeing other deeply oppressive or war-torn countries, defectors from North Korea remain relatively quiet. The regime punishes the families of anyone who defects at the time of their defection, explained Todd Nettleton, chief of media relations and message integration for The Voice of the Martyrs USA, an NGO that aids refugees and defectors. If they were to comment publicly and further embarrass the regime, they know their families would be punished further, possibly even executed or sent to a labor camp. Punishment often extends for up to three generations after the defection. North Koreans work on a field in the propaganda village of Gyeongdong near the truce village of Panmunjom in the demilitarized zone in Paju, 42 kilometers 26 miles northwest of Seoul, that separates North Korea from the South March 26, 2008. South Korea's new conservative government wants North Korea to answer questions about the fate of its prisoners of war and abducted civilians believed to be still held by the communist state, officials said on Tuesday. Reuters Lee J1 South Korea RTR 1 YR7 Are we have the type of defectors that believe they must speak out so their fellow nationals can know life is better and free on the other side? Then, there are those that don't want to be heard for fear of their family safety, Brewer said. The latter tend to be defectors who have seen firsthand more government surveillance and punishment or who have been outside North Korea for a number of years. Yet some analysts predict that deserter numbers are set to rise and then fall in the coming months. As economic conditions worsen due to tough economic sanctions imposed over the summer, there will likely be a surge of defectors, followed then by a steep decline as Pyongyang cracks down hard to limit information outflows to the outside world, noted Harry Kazaronis, director of defense studies at the Center for the National Interest. Defectors have told me on many occasions that new smuggling routes out of the country will open up, however in just a few months, a shutdown thanks to informants. It is a constant game of cat and mouse. President Donald Trump's new travel ban proclamation, which came into play on Thursday, included North Korea for the first time. North Korea's inclusion is viewed by many as largely symbolic, as so few managed to safely leave the world's most closed country as it stands, let alone be granted passage to the United States.